guys welcome to my channel Vinyl Beauty or welcome back I'm Debbie if you don't know me and today's video is just going to be a chit chat get ready with me I'm on my way out to go and do some Christmas shopping and I thought I may as well do the makeup look with you on camera some of you have said that you'd like to see the Melt Beetle Juice palettes in action again and I wanted to use the waiting room palette again so thought it would be a perfect opportunity just to give this a little bit more love on my channel so if you want to see what look I create and I'm going to make it nice and simple and just have a little bit of a catch up with me maybe do your makeup with me and have me on in the background then please keep on watching okay guys I've already done my base makeup concealer brows etc but we could do cheeks together though and then move into the eye look gonna do my normal contour routine with the Lunatic Labs contour book one love this I always just take those three shades it's so gonna do that yeah I'm gonna be starting my Christmas shopping today guys I feel like I'm really slow at getting going with it this year like normally I've probably got most of it by this point and then I go shopping with my bestie and I've got nothing to buy this year I've bought one tiny like stocking stuff a gift for somebody and that is it so I'm really behind we've got all of our like Christmas chocolates in we kind of do a, a bit of a a tub that we put out in the garage and we like fill that with chocolates like the tins of quality street and roses and Lindor's love me some Lindor's and chocolate orange and all that so we've done all of that but I've just not got going on the presents I don't know what to buy people I think it's because I never go out or very rarely anymore because of working from home I go to the office once a week on a Friday and I just go straight there go to work and come back so I don't really go into town anymore and I think I just don't get inspired of what things to buy because I'm not seeing things so looking forward to looking in those shops today it's going in now with the Melt Blushing Fire Fury. I have to be really careful that I don't go too crazy with this one because it's super pigmented, but I love the shade of it. It's literally just touching it to the pan just to get a bit of a colour from it. But as you can see, it's uh, pretty intense. <laughs> I think if I take it around my temples and I'm literally just touching it to the pan. If you were to smell your brush in this one, you'd have like a completely red face, I think a little bit on the nose but nothing too crazy yes yeah, so i thought i'd quickly get a video filmed it's nine o'clock on saturday the 30th my friend's coming over at 10 and we're working a walk to the lakes the shopping center but it's about a mile and it's chucking it down the rain <laughs> so maybe we won't but it's been a long long time since i've seen her and i love to see her so it's gonna be so much fun just having a catch up and just getting some shopping seeing all of the Christmassy stock and I'm gonna have a look in House of Fraser at the matte collection I want to see if they've got those sparkly Christmassy shades I love their Christmas collection going in with Colourpop Flexitarian from the highlight so yeah that's the plan and then this afternoon when we get back from there a bit of shopping with my husband as well but somewhere else so it's gonna be lots of shopping and then tonight we're gonna to watch the Muppets Haunted Mansion that looks fun I've been saving that it's on Disney plus if you have that we've seen a lot of the spooky kind of movies before so we thought we'd save that because we haven't seen it it's only an hour I think and I might either watch Beetlejuice or Hocus Pocus tonight because I've not really watched any Halloween movies I've been saving it all for this weekend and we're planning to do some cocktails as well we've got a recipe for cocktail called Black Widow and it's got Kahlua, creme de cassis, vodka and you shake that over ice, put it into a cocktail glass like a martini glass and top it off with ginger beer just a, like a splash of it and it's gorgeous. We tried that out in the summer so I've been planning like what drinks I might have because it's really important to me to have the right drinks and so yeah so that's what we're going to be doing tonight having a few of those and watching some spooky movies we don't go out for halloween it's not a big thing here in the uk anyway all right just going to prime with the sigma eyeshadow base in persuade so how have you guys been keeping and are you excited for halloween and what are you guys doing i'd love to know have you been enjoying seeing all of the spooky makeup releases coming up 
I've been more tempted by makeup than I've been in a long time. I think it's because I've started filming a lot more again and I'm always really inspired at this time of year to create makeup looks and to film videos, much more so than in the summer. You probably notice I've done a lot more videos this month. I feel like I've run out of time to do all the videos I wanted to do. You might still be getting some spooky content in November. But I just don't want to take the background down. I love how it looks. I don't know what to put there instead either. So I might extend it by another week just to fit in a few more things I want to do. But eyeshadow is just eyeshadow and I do spooky looks most of the time anyway. But yeah, I've gotten a lot more into to makeup again just lately. And with that comes a lot of temptation to buy things. So... I've been a little bit naughty, not too bad, but I'll tell you what I've bought in a moment as we do the eyeshadow look. I'm just going to keep things really simple with this look. I want to use that shade Juno all over my lid, put a bit of grey in the crease, and then I want to use, I think, No Exit on my lower lash line, and there's a bit of a wing, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, I'm not planning to do anything too crazy with this look, because I always feel if I'm going out shopping or just something where most people that you're going to see are not going to be wearing heavy makeup even when i do what i consider to be quite a a toned down look i seem to attract the stares and somebody will say oh i like your makeup and i'm wondering whether they really do or if they just feel like compelled to say something because it looks like odd to them because i'm wearing so much of it not that i care but i don't know I don't want to embarrass my friend she doesn't really wear that much makeup so that's looking nice i quite like that i'm going to keep it as i say quite Quite toned down, nothing crazy. I love grey eyeshadow so much. I know it's not a, a popular one with a lot of people, but I really, really love it. It's kind of my neutral. I prefer it much more than brown on myself. So yeah, the things I've been buying then, well, I have bought the Blend Bunny Surge Palette. And I have no faith I'm actually going to ever get it. And I've reached out to the brand and they've told me to be patient, but... I don't know guys, I don't think it's coming out. I ordered it on the 6th of October. It shipped pretty much within a few minutes. It got to Heathrow Airport because you can track it all on the shop app through Shopify. Got there on the 13th and it hasn't moved since. And I'm like, normally when things make it to the UK, they're two or three days and they're with me. So I reached out to the brand and they said, they're prepared to look into it, but I've got to wait another two or three weeks. So I'm getting a bit frustrated waiting for that. Because I wanted to do some Halloween kind of looks with it. Because it's got those dark tones, but then it's also got the more neon shades. I love the way it's set up. Although it's a bigger palette, it's got a very interesting setup with pastels, mid-tones, deeper shades, shimmers. And then these bright, vivid uh, neon shades. So that may or may not get to me at some point, but probably a lot later than I really wanted it. Oh, I don't think I want any more shadow, just need to kind of just get that to blend a bit. I'm going to take the shade somewhere and the white just to fade things a little bit, but just on this same brush. I'm just tapping that off super well so it doesn't end up making a real white cast to my brow, but I just feel like it needs something on the edges just to blend it a little bit. So obviously I've bought the Luna Beauty Moon Spell 2. How could I not? It's definitely my kind of aesthetic so I had to have that and I've done a video with it. Didn't get very many views. I was quite surprised. I thought people would be interested in that. I think I was again too late to the party with that one and I feel like the more videos I put up the less views I get so <laughs> I don't know maybe you guys are getting fed up with me uploading so much I don't know but but yeah, that palette, I've still got to test out some more. And I want to do some more looks with it if you guys want to see that. And then at a moment of weakness, I had Monday off. And I was just scrolling Colourpop. Never a good thing to do because I always end up buying something. And I'd had my eye on the Tinkerbell collection when it came out. But I was like, I don't need it. got lots of green eyeshadow. But I was in one of those days, I don't know if you guys ever get this sometimes. You're just like, oh, I'll just... So I did yes, just get what I want to get. Why do I have to keep giving myself rules and not having things that I want to get? I can afford it. Why don't I just have it? And they had a 25% off site-wide sale. So you can guess what happened. Bought the whole collection. But I'm really excited because there's some super shock cheeks, which I can never say that. Super shock cheeks. 
still can't say it, but anyway, that. They're in there. <laughs> there's a couple of blushes and highlight, and there's some super shock eyes as well. So it's a really nice collection, I think. And anything that's a tie-in with Disney, I'm all about. Right, just gonna put glitter primer on my lids. So I ordered that, and then, of course, the Nightmare Before Christmas collection was announced. And that seemed to just come from nowhere. I wasn't expecting that, don't think anybody was. And whilst the colour story is, yeah, it's all right. It's good for Colourpop, I think. It's quite deep and grungy and unusual for Colourpop, but I think they could have done way more with it, as everybody has said. But I don't hate it. I just wish there was less pink in it, because I'm not the hugest fan of, like, bright pinks on my eyes. I don't know. Sometimes I am, but I don't combine pink with the sort of shades that are in there very often. But I think I can create some nice looks with it, and I'm really excited for the Jelly Mutt shadows, because I've never tried those. So I bought the eye bundle, which has got the jelly match shadows, it's got the black and white felt tip eyeliners, the BFF liners, uh, the super shock shadows, jelly match shadows. Oh no, it's not super shock shadow, it's a uh, glitterly obsessed, sorry, and the jelly match shadows and the palette. And then I just ordered one of the lipsticks, I've got the Jack one in the red, but now I'm thinking why didn't I just buy all three? Because that packaging is so pretty on the lipsticks, like it's like a Christmas ornament. Okay, all over my lids, I'm going in with the shade Juno, that one, the silver. I'm just gonna poke that all over where I put the glitter primer. So this is gonna be a simple and not too crazy looking look. Which is fun sometimes. If I'm doing my makeup for myself, I don't always go super crazy and creative. Then I went back to the Colourpop site just to see what it would cost me to get just the lipsticks but then of course you've got to make a certain amount to get the free shipping and I'll have another lot of VAT to pay and I was like oh why didn't I just get all three lipsticks in the first place <laughs> but they've got some sort of offer on there at the moment where like you get about four different products free that you can just add to your cart so now I'm looking at the Disney Princesses Super Shock Vault and I'm thinking, do I want that? Somebody needs to stop me because I've been so good this year and now I'm just like, I want everything. I think that's the problem with denying yourself for so long. And the other thing I've really got my eye on, well there's two other things, is the Ace Beauté Tropical Palette, the new one that's going out, but I don't think I'll get that because again the shipping is super high, it's like $28 for shipping, that's a bit more than I want to pay. Plus I'll probably have import duty on it, it just makes it too expensive and Beauty Bay don't carry Ace Beauty anymore. Okay, I'm not going to do any sort of depth in the outer corners because I want to use that no exit shade as sort of a liner and a wing. So I'm going to put Anger Mood in my waterline. And I'm just going to run no exit on my lower lash line and kind of flick it out into a wing shape. So yeah, there's that. And then the Martine Cosmetics 669 palette, which is right up my street because it's all dark and gothy kind of shades. It's absolutely gorgeous. The packaging looks gorgeous. And if I get any, that's probably what I'll pull the trigger on. Probably that and probably some more colour pockers. You just can't beat the value for Colourpop and the fact that the shipping ends up quite reasonable as well. And I think that's that's definitely what puts me off. I love my US indie brands, but this shipping and customs and just the long wait as well. Like I've heard you guys or I've seen people's videos where if they're in the US they say Colourpop takes ages to ship. I don't find that to be the case. They come pretty quick. Like I've ordered the Nightmare Before Christmas and it's been shipped well, it was shipped within about 10 minutes of the order you can't say better than that so I think I might have that in the week and if I do I'll film a video with that right just to kind of you probably see what I'm doing I'm just extending that lower lash line up so that I can then make a wing with that and hope that I don't end up with this <laughs> looking too crazy because that's not my intention Right, just going to pull my lids down, just finish this off. I 
think I'm going to go with a flat definer. I think it might be slightly easier to just press the shadow. Yeah, that's easier. Than with a pencil brush. Shadow liners are a bit more finicky, I think. But they are more forgiving because if you go wrong, it's easy to erase it than if you've used a liquid liner. I think this is going to look quite nice when it's done. Just in case I'm building it up a little bit on these crinkly eyes of mine. When my eyes open, I want it to look like quite a fat wing coming out rather than a skinny kind of wing that I normally do if I use. Use liquid liner. Yeah, quite like how that looks. Just going to do that on the other eye. So what out of the things I've said that I'm going to get are you excited to see me use? If anything, guys. I might have to do some polls on my community tab just to kind of get your, your thoughts of what you want to see because I don't really know what to film with half the time. <laughs> I know what I like to use, but I don't know what you guys would prefer to see. And obviously, I want to make videos that you want to watch. Else I may as well sit in my room and just do my makeup for myself, which is also fun. I've been able to get a bit more content done because I'm filming after work. I usually walk before work. I leave the house at six and I walk for about an hour and three quarters and I start work at eight so I just literally get home, jump in the shower quickly, start work at eight and I like to do that in the mornings just to like get myself going for the day but I usually walk in the evenings as well and I've kind of knocked that on the head at the moment so that I can film and my husband gets home from work around about five and I finish work at four so I've got an hour there to film so what I've been doing is filming one day and then spending that hour the next day editing which means I can probably get about four videos up a week and still have evenings and there won't be these massive gaps of time where I've got no no video going up honestly the hardest part sometimes when you're not buying new things it is thinking what to title the video <laughs> like to get it to sound interesting so that somebody might want to watch it so that's not easy like if you're doing a first impressions you can say whatever it is tutorial swatches first impressions if you're just doing a, a look with a palette from the past it's a bit more tricky this is taking me way longer to, to get how I want it than I thought it would. And it's not perfect by any means. I think that's okay though. I think that's as crazy as I want to go with it. I might just put a little bit of the white in my inner corners just to highlight there with that. A matte inner corner. This isn't white really. It's kind of white with a bit of grey in it. Yeah, that might just liven things up just slightly. I used this palette in my halfway to Halloween look in July, I think it was. And I cannot remember what look I did. So hopefully I'm not doing something similar. But I think I went a lot more deeper and darker and Halloween-esque with that one. This is a lot more toned down and wearable, I think. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do for the eye look. Just going to hop off camera for mascara and lips and I'll be back with you with the final look and to wrap up the video. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Really love how it came out. I need to do those shadow wings more. It was quite easy to do. I think melt shadows are perfect for it because they're super pigmented and they go over the top of a shimmer quite well. And you can really pack them on for a punch and you don't get that fallout that you do when you try to blend them. So I think that's a, a good way to use those super dark colours from Melt. So I'm inspired to do some more now. But I love how it turned out because it's dramatic enough to kind of still be me. But it's toned down enough that I don't feel like it's too out there for like, you know, just being in general company kind of thing. If that makes sense. For lips today I've gone in with a Kaleidos Makeup Lip Tonic. This one's the shade Immersion. And I don't have any of their lip clays. That's going to be a purchase for Black Friday. I love the look of that Apple collection they brought out. I haven't ordered anything from Kaleidos for a long, long time. But yeah, need to get those. But this is good because I'm going to be drinking coffee. Don't know if we're having lunch or not. 
and it's kind of a lip stain as such so it wears really nicely it's kind of the color of my lips but a little bit more mauve so when it starts to to wear off it's gonna wear kind of gracefully rather than leaving me with lots of like gap in the middle and kind of just the outline of the shade on the outer part of my lips which I hate to see when I'm wearing a deeper color just don't want to be worrying about it you know I just want to enjoy today and yeah just start that Christmas shopping I'm super super excited so I've got half an hour to go I managed to film the video in super quick time for me it normally takes me ages I hope you enjoyed this video and it didn't come across too rushed but I really wanted to to just play with the waiting room palette while it was still Halloween time. I'm going to film again tomorrow which will be Halloween and I'll hopefully get that one up on the day. But if you don't get to watch that one guys, happy Halloween. I hope you're going to have a wonderful weekend if you celebrate it, doing all the spooky things and hopefully catch you in tomorrow's video. If you're new to my channel and this is your first video of mine, don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out so you don't miss out on any future uploads. But take care of yourselves guys and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>